Hey, it's Lauren. I'm at Supplement Superstores. Last month we talked about pre-workout, what all the different kinds of it mean and why you should be using it. So this time we're going to talk about post-workout. What are the benefits? Why is it even necessary? And what's in there? <laughs> this is Dylan and that's Tyler and they are going to explain to us some of these uh, post-workout options to help you get the most out of your workout after it's already finished. So Dylan, why don't we start with BCAAs? Yeah, so with branched-chain amino acids, a lot of people are gonna drink those in your workout. It's not a complete protein, but it is still gonna be a lot of amino acids that are important for recovery and preventing the breakdown of muscle tissue throughout the day. Also, adding some creatine in with uh, the BCAAs are gonna help you with muscle hydration. It's gonna help pull water to the muscles um, that way you're more explosive and you're able to create more lean body mass. All right, and then this area over here, we have more of our post-workout proteins and then our glucoses that go with that. So the post-workout proteins are a little different than your traditional like muscle milks, premier protein shakes, or just like overall slower digesting proteins. Um, those ones are used to, you know, put in the, you know, in the morning with breakfast or just a mid-afternoon snack you need to get your protein intake up. These ones are very post-workout specific because they're isolates. So with the isolate proteins, they pull out a lot of the fat and lactose. So they're gonna be very lean and they digest really quickly. Um, they're typically with something like this, it's gonna absorb in 20 or 30 minutes. But what you wanna pair with this is you wanna pair a glucose with it. Now, when I say glucose, I mean like a fast digesting carb. This is gonna help a lot with your body's natural recovery. It's gonna help with delivering the protein to your muscle cells after your workout. But carbs have a protein sparing effect. So, you know, regardless of whether you think like nutrient timing is a thing or how fast you should get in your protein after your workout, um, something like this is gonna help dramatically increase the delivery of the protein to the muscle cells to get it there faster. So we know that we need carbs and we need protein after a workout. This is gonna get the job done a lot faster than eating like whole foods. And you can eat whole foods if you want to, but something like this is gonna get there a lot quicker to help start rebuilding that muscle tissue um, immediately. Um, the, the glucose or like this ignition basically is gonna help restore glycogen. So it's gonna put that um, energy back in your muscles and it's gonna help a lot with your muscle soreness and that recovery, like I said. And then actually something you could pair with the creative and like I said, the protein isolate is going to rebuild the broken down muscle fibers and just help build lean muscle after a workout, okay? So if someone wants a pre or a post-workout supplement, but they only want to take one thing, what's the one thing? The one thing would have to be the protein just because you can't build muscle without it. Um, with, with If you were to just do protein after a workout, I would recommend doing multiple scoops of it because your body can actually turn some of the protein into energy or glycogen. So if you didn't do like the ignition or some kind of carb source with it, you'd want to at least do two scoops of this because some of that protein will be turned into energy and not used for building muscle. So at least two scoops of this, but the reason that this is really cool to pair with it is because then you can make sure all the protein that you're taking in is gonna be shuttled off to the muscles and only used for building muscle and all the carbs will be used for a separate purpose.